Hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. Um, I did a crop on my recording software, so hopefully it's more natural. Um, you can see that we're still at the campsite. I did some other stuff while I was away. Uh, I ate a bowl of cereal. I set up the password for this account. Um, and I went out to the woods, painted my chest green, and took the thumbnail pictures, which you have now already seen a couple of times. Um, yes, I took those. Yes, I was in public. Yes, those are the woods near my apartment building. Um, that's about all that really happened. Um, we're going to keep looking, though. So, back in KOL. Uh, your campsite includes a handsome and functional outdoor kitchen, which is to say that there's a patch of battered linoleum on the ground. That's what happens when you click on the Your Kitchen thing. Our dwelling doesn't have anything inside it, so we'll just rest in our dwelling, which is right now a tent. We gain eight hit points and ten muscularity, so that used one adventure, um, but that heals you pretty, pretty good. So we're gonna head back to the big mountains, go to Mount Noob, and find the tutorial. Congratulations on your successful nap. We notice your dwelling's a little bare, though. Take this to liven it up a little. What would you like to learn about next adventure? You acquire an item, certificate of participation. Um, so these are the last two things. These are the crafting in this game. Um, we're going to do the tutorial, you know, as you have already seen. It's just, I, I want this to be a very pure experience. I want this to be a very fun, classic KOL experience that feels the way that it would when you play for the first time, which is odd that... I also say, don't watch this, go play it for yourself. And I do mean that. I mean, like, if this game looks fun, go play it for yourself. If you want to have this on in the background, then go ahead. Um, I don't know, man. I, I am liking this game again. It's it's nice to know that I go back to something and it's still nice. Um, food, teach me about cooking. You're a growing adventurer. It's important to, that you keep up your strength. Eating is one of the best ways to get more adventures. So you can get more adventures by eating. If you're going to eat, you're going to need to learn how to cook. Take this oven and use it from your inventory to install it at the campsite. Easy cook oven. Easy cook oven. Power. Oh, okay. We'll look at it from the inventory so you guys can see it. All right. Whatever. You install the oven in your stylish outdoor kitchen. Tutorial flies down lands on a rack next to you. You'll find a lot of food as you adventure, but nothing beats the taste of a home-cooked meal. Here, take these ingredients. Go to the pliers icon in the top menu to go to your crafting screen and see if you can't figure out something to make with these ingredients. We got a, a strawberry, orange, lemon, and three popsicle sticks. Adding to our supply of popsicle sticks. Let's also take a look at this certificate. The certificate proclaims that you're a legitimate participant in the adventuring community of the Kingdom of Loathing. Hang it proudly at your campsite. We'll use it. You proudly hang your certificate of participation at your campsite. All right. Campground. Your kitchen. So we now have an easy cook oven. So we can combine orange and popsicle stick. And we'll make one and we'll bake it. We had an orange popsicle. Say, that looks delicious. You should go to your inventory, click the backpack icon on the top menu, you need it. Congrats, you discovered a new recipe. Um, you can also combine items. Right now, all we have is meat paste. Um, we could make meat paste, that is to say. We don't actually have any. Um, later on, you can smith stuff. You can make cocktails, which are what you do with all the alcohols. Um, and then discoveries are where all your recipes go. So if you wanted to, we could actually just make another one of those. Just crank that out right there. You can find an item, orange popsicle. Let me see if I can consume the bowls. Orange popsicle, here we go. This is a delicious looking orange popsicle. Compared to an apple popsicle, it's a horse of a different color. It's a decent food as opposed to crappy. Yeah, that one's crappy, but this one's decent, and it's worth less money because it's not raw ingredients anymore, and it's much more better if you eat it. You eat the popsicle, and orange, you glad you did? You gain two adventures, so we've now got two more of these guys. 
So I'll head back to the main map. Go to Mount Noob. Food is good, and you should eat as much of it as you can every day, so you'll have plenty of adventures to spend. What would you like to learn about next, adventurer? Adventurers do not live by bread alone. Booze is also a crucial part of your daily diet. It's like my dear old mom used to say. It's a rough world out there, toot. Now be a dear and fetch me another drink. You'll need this. Uh, you quite are, my first shaker. Huh? Damn. Uh, go to your inventory and click on that. Misco, here we go. This is a colorful, cheap plastic cocktail shaker. Useful for making not so potent potables. Use that. You install the cocktailing kit in your stylish outdoor kitchen, making it even more stylish. The tutorial flies down and lands on a nearby rock. Cocktails are a fine way to make yourself less sober. Here, take these ingredients. Grapefruit, olive, lemon, bottle of whiskey, vodka, and gin. Click the crafting icon in the crafting screen and see if you can't figure out how to wish up, whip up a refreshing cocktail. So, we can combine whiskey and... Uh, excuse me. Does that do anything? Nope. It doesn't. I use all my oranges, damn. Uh, orange and vodka makes a... <laughs> orange and vodka makes a very basic mixed drink called a screwdriver. It's just orange juice and vodka. It's the first drink I ever learned how to make, and it's because of this. Here we go. You mix up a refreshing cocktail. I don't know why I did that in his voice. You require an item martini. Say, that looks like a mighty refreshing cocktail. You should go to your inventory and drink it. We've discovered a new recipe. Can I do anything else on here? Skin grapefruit. Damn. Here we go. Whiskey sour. This is a drink made of whiskey and lemon juice. Think about how sour it is. Now think about how whiskey it is. Now think about how sour it is. It's decent booze. It's 65 meat and it's three potency. Um, I think this will make Greyhound. Damn. But they do in the real world. So, we go to consumables. We can take a look at our martini. Basic martini, gin and all. So, I'll drink the whiskey sour. It's puckerific. Gain fine adventures. Gain 10 strengthiness, muscle point, and a level, and 3 drunkenness. So now our tipsiness is 3 out of 14. But I'm level 2 now. Dusky Alfred. That's my number. I'm level 2 seal clubber. Turn slapper. So yeah, my hit points went up. My muscularity went up. My inebriety is 3. Got a bunch of adventures remaining. Favorite food or and drink are the only things that I've actually eaten and drinking. So yeah, that's really uh, that's all that is right now. Big mountains, Mount Noob. Just like in the real world, <laughs> booze is a great way to gain adventures. You have a lot to overdo it. Or you might knock yourself out of commission for the rest of the day. You've learned everything I have to teach you. Now it's time for you to set out on your own and find fortune in the kingdom. Might I suggest starting with Council Loathing in Seaside Town? I'll mark it on your map. New area unlocked. Seaside Town on the main map. So if we go around here, we can just beat these guys to death. You use your Seal Clubbing Club to usher it into the exclusive I Just Took 7 Damage Club. Barf, pow, bam, you win the fight. And we get meat. We got two strengthiness. Crates. Yeah, we've seen all this. Anyway, um, oh, wow, that's deep. Cool. So we now got more stuff up here. So we got all our crafting, got messages. Uh, I have none because no one knows who I am and I've only just started playing. We have options, a whole, whole bunch of these. This is extremely deep, as you can see. Hey, I'm back. I got all my recording stuff set up as well as my actual stats that I wanted for my uh, my account, which I should not show on screen, naturally. So we're going to head to Seaside Town now. So we got wrong side of the tracks and the right side of the tracks, the Ob Jobs board, the museum, the Market Square, the Clan District, and the Council Loathing. 
and they're putting up an adventurer signal, which is being projected on a blanket being held by some birds. So we go to Market Square, we got Mr. Store. Hi there, I'm Mr. Shopkeeper, and this is Mr. Store. Here you can trade accessories and Uncle Bucks for other groovy stuff. You can get some Mr. Accessories or Uncle Bucks by donating or subscribing. So this is your bonus content if you get extra stuff, if you, you know, shoot them some money. Um, they're not game-breaking as far as I know. I don't think I ever got any back when I used to play. I don't think I would have. Um, but yeah, that's what they are. Does this all show up? Yes, it does. Uh, we got Dr. Doc Galactic's medical sh medicine show. Doc Galactic's eyes light up as you approach. Say, hey, friend, you look a little hale. You look like a hale and hearty adventurer. Don't suppose you would assist me with a little problem I've got. So we got anti anti antidote. This is a couple of the stuff that will un un unpoison you in if you get un unpoisoned. This is a bottle of Doc Galactic's homeopathic gal elixir, guaranteed to cure all of life cells. So the item will heal a goodly number of hit points. This is a jar of Doc Lactic's Punch and Unquent, guaranteed to cure all life cells. Heals a little bit of stuff, and it's invigorating tonic. The label on this bottle has been haphazardly glued on top of this bottle's original label. So we'll see what Doc Lactic actually wants. Problem indeed, my good friend. Here's the situation. I've run out of ingredients for my patent medicines, and I simply don't have the time to go and gather them myself. I need three sprigs of fraud wart, three bundles of shyster weed, and three swindle blossoms. Do you think you're up to the task? I'll go pick some flowers. Excellent news. You can find those herbs right here in Seaside Town in that overgrown lot here by the Slizzy Back Alley. All right. Go to the general store. It's run by a guy whose name is General Store. Once I was a hero of the Cold War Wars. Now I wage war against high prices. So you can see that there's a lot of these here. Um, at the bottom, oh, you can see that. Cool. Dope. Yeah. Um, I cropped my screen, so some extra stuff is cut out. But uh, I wasn't sure that it captured everything. But that's all right. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how much we actually... Desert bus pass. Ooh, we actually might need one of these. We'll come back for that, though. A reasonably sized fountain. Hmm? The armory and leggery. Jack, the armorer and leggerer. Hey, what are you looking at? Just kidding. Don't worry. I've heard them all. All the jokes, all the questions. Questions like, how do you make the gear with no arms or legs? Anyway, what can I get you? Oh, uh, what can you get for yourself? So we got cool whip. Sweet ninja sword. Suede short sword. 25 meat staff. Hell yeah, Robin Hood Daffy. Bamboo Bokuto. Two-handed depth sword as opposed to a broadsword. Yeah. That's that's dumb. I love that. Um, so these are all melee weapons, obviously. Oh, it says that there. Good job, idiot. Um, utensils are for the these are magical things. Range weapons, naturally, toy accordion, etc., etc. All the hats. Hell yeah. Goofly plumed helmet. Wooden salad bowl. <laughs> and then we also got uh, pants. Alpha male pants. These letters are written out of plate mail with all the letters of the alphabet on them. Just the 26 letters, that is. Not the one with lines through them or the little dots over them. Those aren't real letters. Anyway, it, these should demonstrate to anyone that you're a personal letter. And then leader of the pack. Vroom, vroom. Chainmail monokini. This is the bottom half of a chainmail bikini. It'll completely protect you from injury and by you in your crotch and 40% of your backside because what else matters? Um, I won't read everything, but I will read stuff that I find is funny or that is immediately plot or quest relevant. Um, sign says it's a sale. Sale? Oh, there's no sale. I was trying to trick someone to come in here to help me. It seems a little shady, you reply. Hey, when you're head and torso, you got to use every trick in the book, or at least every trick on the page that the book is currently open to. And you're here, so obviously it worked, so you can help me out or not. What do you need help with, you ask? I just need you to head over to a baker on the right side of the track and pick up a pie. Yeah, a pie? Yeah, a pie. 
Special kind of pie you can eat with your, just your face. Madeline, lady who owns the bakery, was supposed to sh- deliver it yesterday. She never showed up. Okay, fine. I'll go get your pie. Back to the market square. I guess I can't go here yet. Probably not. Mr. Meatsmith. I'm the Meatsmith. I'm very busy, so I won't be able to smith anything for you. You can buy components and smith things yourself. Actually, if you have some spare time, I could use help with a business issue. So, Meatsmithing Guide. I will get get that. Uh, tenderizing hammer. We don't have enough of that yet. Buckler buckle. Shirt kit. Shirt slash skirt slash kilt kit. Pants kit and helmet recipe. And then these are all ingredients for other stuff. What do you need? A few weeks ago, a guy came, a guy trying to open a skeleton store came in here and brought a crate of weapons and armor. He said he'd be right back with a check, but for some reason, after he took a big crate of weapons into a store filled with skeletons, he never came back to pay me. Don't suppose you could head over there and see what's up? I do it, but like I said, I'm really busy. I'll wake up with your while, I promise. I'll go check it out. Mark it on your map. Back to the market square. Does this go anywhere? Of course not. It's a multiplier. Um, how long have I been recording? I really ought to time this. I see you there, Council Elding. I'll do it later. Right side of the tracks. So this leads all over here. Monorail Station, Spooky Raven Manor, Brotherhood of the Smackdown, Cake Shape Arena, Construction Site, Gord Tower, League of Chef Magi, and Madness Bakery. And then if we go to the wrong side, Department of Shadowy Arts and Crafts, Thatch Roofed Casino, Dirt Walled Hovel of the Pretentious Artist Who Is Swearing a Lot, The Overgrown Lot, and the Sleazy Back Alley. So we can actually head down here. You're fighting a big creepy spider. In the Sleazy Back Alley, you're attacked by a big creepy spider. It promises not to kill you, but you're not sure you believe it. Actually, I'll just hit it. You give it a knuckle sandwich, and since it still looks hungry, you fall up with a club sandwich for seven damage. Kablam, bonk, socko. You win the fight. You find another one of those hit weird jug maps. I've never gotten one of these before. I probably shouldn't say another one. Uh, we got a muscle point, and we gain mysteriousness. A rushing bum in the sleazy back alley. Your bum rushed by a rushing bum. Yikes. You viciously bludgeon him, dealing eight damage. Kapow, zot, biff. You win the fight. Fortitude and enchantedness. Let's check out... Um... Wait, right. This one. Recent items. The guide reads as followed. Meat smithing's pretty simple. Buy a tenderizing hammer. Using to combine ingredients with a meat stack to make basic items. Combine other stuff with the basic items to augment them. This pamphlet was a waste of meat. It's a pamphlet which explains the basic principles of meat smithing. I bought it because I wanted to. Can I just use it again? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hidden booze cache. Though this clay jug is empty, this crude map scratched on the surface. Surface. Triple X marks the spot. Stash points to a map points to a stash of booze in the overgrown lot on the wrong side of the tracks. All right. Ah, oh, I love this game. Um, I beat the tutorial quicker than I thought I would, and this episode might be actually a little shorter than I meant to make it, but that's okay. Um. Wholly unintentional, I assure you, but I will cut this episode off here. Um, if you're enjoying this, thanks. Um, I don't intend to do much more than one playthrough of this game. I might do one of the Ascensions if I find it really interesting. But um, this is... Yeah. Game's a lot more of this. If you don't like it, that's okay. Um, thanks for stopping Why? Remember to... Oh. Hey, just have a nice day. How about that? Uh, I've been Alfred. Thank you.